Good morning, I'm Marie Walker with Raising Dreamers Ministries. And here just to spend a few moments um, at our morning reflection time. Uh, we've been talking about how our mighty Savior is able to care, to lead, to tend in his wisdom and love for us. And we've been looking at some different verses about that. And so today I thought I'd take um, the, the truth from Romans chapter 14, verse four, where it says, he, meaning God, is able to make him stand. Now, first of all, what does it mean to stand um, as a believer trusting on the Lord Jesus Christ and in him? We've uh, looked at Jude 24 that says, he is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless. Um, and here in Romans 16, 25, it says God is able to establish us. But in Romans 14, it's saying God can make him stand. So what are we to stand? What does that mean to stand? And I looked that up and it says to stand means you remain firm and immovable, even when, especially when you are the smallest or the youngest or the last one standing. It means to continue, endure, persist. Keep on keeping on. You know, and I like to think about Gideon back there in uh, Judges chapter seven, who was uh, younger than his brethren. He was uh, really fearful. And yet when he was approached by God to be a judge over Israel, God saw him as a mighty man of valor. And that's how God sees us in Christ. He is able to make us stand even when we feel pretty shaky and small and insignificant. It's about Him. So we are told to stand in spiritual warfare. Um, that's Ephesians 6 where he talks about putting on the full armor of God. Gird on the belt of truth and put on that breastplate of righteousness and stand against the enemy's darts and really that come in our thoughts. We need to stand on God's word so we can stand there. And then I like it says in Colossians 4.12 is he is praying that his believer friends there in Colossae would stand firm in the Lord. And even in Philippians um, chapter 4, 1, it says stand firm in the Lord as well. So standing firm in the Lord is an important idea. And the verse I picked in Romans um, 14 verse 4 mm -hmm. uh, it's a little different because it says the Lord is able to make him stand and the idea in this passage is this it says who are you to judge another man's servant basically he belongs to the Lord and so it's one thing for us to stand but it's another thing for us to believe God for the other fella who is that in our lives um, in our lives that that we may be praying for burdened for uh, might see things differently you know they are God's problem and we can trust the Lord with them because ultimately we need the Lord to help us stand and he says he can make him stand he is able to make him stand so let's just kind of chew over that today and trust others and believe God for other people. I'm very glad that some people believe God for me. Lord bless you, and I hope I see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.